This time on the On Empire, we finally finished the F truck restoration. Not this one. So as you can see, the carpet's in the truck as well today. Steve from Stitches and Stounds came down and installed that for me. Um, also detailed up the scuff plate, hit them with the, a red scotch bra and some deoxidine. And those rubbers that we picked up from the, the later model F100, uh, cut those to suit the, uh, the scuff plates, so we had to cut the inside out. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get that on film, but uh, there's, so much, there's so much to film, so I can't get every little bit in this video. Um, Chuck that on. So yeah, Steve put the carpet in, did an awesome job of that. I chucked the roof lining in, the original one, which I, uh, which I painted up. Um, got that in today with Mark. Uh, we just sat the seat in there. I wasn't sure what we we're gonna do with the base of the seat because I put a, a sort of uh, a pretty generic seat cover on the top half because it had a rip in it. And uh, we tried to fit one to the bottom and it didn't quite fit. But since then I've uh, vinyl sprayed the bottom of the seat black and it actually looks quite good. So we might just leave it as is. We're getting close. We're getting close. All right guys, second last day on the F truck and I'm here. I'm gonna put a few gaskets through this carby. It actually does run quite well, but it does leak. So I'm gonna do the bare minimum what needs to keep this all containing fuel and then bang it on the truck. And we're gonna try and fire it up for the first time since we started painting. All right, so the end result with this carby is it didn't actually need a kit run through it. It actually did run quite well, but it was severely leaking. So I went through, I pulled the bowls off and um, made sure everything is all clean and no damage. I reassembled everything nice and tight and all it was requiring is the uh, fuel pump diaphragm was leaking and allowing fuel to drop out. Uh, which was collecting in the valley and um, making the manifold look gross and just covering the engine in petrol and also made it hard to start because only about one night or maybe two at a push um, the bowls were empty and then it would run again so now that it's holding fuel I've had it sitting on this um, paint lid for a little while and watching and it is dry those bowls are full of fuel and it hasn't uh, leaked a drop for about an hour and a half so I think we've solved that that can now go on the truck and Try and fire it up. here it is guys it is finally finished so obviously from the outside it's not looking much different than it did the other day we did do a little bit of work down here on the back bumper we got that all sitting mounted up nice readjusted 
We've done a little bit of work on the tailgate to get it all to open and shut nicely and the bonnet. Now these things always have worn bonnet hinges. The best we can do is to sit it up and space it evenly. Pushing that down is only gonna last so much. So if you lift the bonnet or drive, they wiggle back up. My blue one at home does the exact same thing. So unfortunately it's got weak bonnet hinges in it. But aside from that, we're super happy with it. We spent a little bit more time trying to get the front bar straight, which was totally twisted, if you guys remember in the first video. But overall, for what this car is, it's come a hell of a long way. All right, now going under the bonnet, it is all finished. It is now obviously all running, radiators in, pipes are in, um, new heater lines, all the wiring has been tidied up, leads neatened up, all the nuts and bolts have been all nipped up. And it's pretty much ready to roll. So for a couple of day tidy up, we're super happy with how the engine bay turned out, considering this was just gonna get a coat of satin black and scent. Um, really glad that Jake went all out and got this thing looking mint. All right, here it is for the first time in some sunlight. The sun's peaked out between the clouds. And this is looking insane. How bright is this thing? Okay, so that's it on the F100 restoration. Obviously, it's not technically a restoration. That was a tongue in cheek. This was about 150 hours worth of work to get it to something that's very respectable as opposed to something that was rusting in the backyard of some bloke's house. As for now, we're gonna jump in this thing. We're gonna hit the road, take it down a graze on line. We're gonna put this up for auction. now down here at Grays Online at Paraka in SA. We're gonna put this truck, it's going in the shed in the classic section. So we're gonna put the link in the description below. So if anyone wants to come down, check it out, you can come down here and check it out at Paraka, it's open to the public. And also you can follow along on the auctions in the link below. So that's gonna be it for this week's episode. I will see you all on the next one. Please don't forget to like the video, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, check out the online store, and we'll see you all next time. Cheers guys.